Hello! Welcome to our Arkel Training Videos channel. In this training video, we will explain how to make car call board connections, dip switch settings, and floor level fine tuning in the Arcode integrated lift control system. Car call board connections and dip switch settings. The CPC Serial Communication Board, or CPCT Parallel Connection Board, can be used in the cabin operating panel. A single CPC board can support call button connections of up to 24 floors. A second CPC board should be used for floors 25 and over. A third CPC board should be used for floors 49 and over. A CPC-T board can support call button connections of up to 16 floors. The CPC-T board cannot be used for applications over 16 floors. The CPC and CPC-T boards are connected to the IBCS inspection board via the cable named ACOP using the XCOM connector. These buttons are connected to the corresponding sockets or terminals as shown in the diagram. If the CPC or CPC-T board is connected to the system for the first time, a software update must be performed. Otherwise, the car call board will not work. CPC board dip switch settings the dip switch on the CPC board is used for the car door and floor count settings. The one and two dip switches on the CPC board determine which floors the lift will work between. If the number of lift floors is between 2 and 24 stops, the dip switches number 1 and 2 are set to off position. However, if there are between 25 and 48 stops, a second CPC board should be used in addition to the first CPC board. The dip switches on the second CPC board should be set to off on the dip switch numbered 1 and on on the dip switch numbered 2. A third CPC board should be used if the number of stops is between 49 and 64. Additionally, the dip switch numbered 1 should be set to on and the dip switch numbered 2 should be set to off. The dip switches numbered 3 and 4 on the CPC board are used to select the number of car doors. If a single door is used, door A must be selected on the system. To select door A, the dip switch numbered 3 must be set to on, and the dip switch numbered 4 must be set to off. If door B is to be used, the dip switch numbered 3 must be set to off, and the dip switch numbered 4 must be set to on. If doors A and B are used, the dip switches numbered 3 and 4 must be set to on. CPC T board dip switch settings. The dip switch on the CPC T board is used to set the car door settings and indicator output type. The dip switches numbered 1 and 2 on the CPC T board are used to adjust door settings. If a single door is used, door A must be selected on the system. To select door A, the dip switch numbered 1 must be set to on and the dip switch number 2 must be set to off. If door B is to be used, the dip switch numbered 1 must be set to off and the dip switch number 2 must be set to on. If doors A and B are to be used, the dip switches numbered 1 and 2 must be set to on. The dip switch number 3 is used to select the type of indicator outputs. If the dip switch number 3 is set to on, the output is adjusted for grey code. If it is set to off, the output is adjusted for binary code. The dip switch numbered 4 is used to determine whether the indicator outputs are normal or inverted. If the dip switch numbered 4 is set to on, the inverted output is activated. If it is set to off, the normal output is activated. Floor Fine Tuning The floor fine tuning can be made on the car panel in the R code or by values entered via RM. In both setting methods, the floor fine tuning should be made in both the up and down directions. The floor fine-tuning on the car panel is made as follows. The door pre-opening parameter in the menu should be activated and the DBR door bridging board should be used to fine-tune the floor of the car panel. After RM is connected to the car panel or control panel, select the Tools button to enter the menu. 
Select the Level Fine Tune screen icon on the menu and press the Enter button. There will be two options. Select the Fine Tuning Using Cup Command Buttons parameter and press the Enter button. Set the Floor Tune Mode to On by pressing the On Screen Enter button. For systematic fine tuning, we recommend conducting the fine tuning from either the top floor to bottom floor direction or from the bottom floor to top floor direction. The call is given to the relevant floor inside the car. When the lift reaches that floor, the leveling between the car sill and the floor sill is made as follows. The door open button is pressed and held. After a while, the LEDs on the bottom and upper floors will start flashing. To move the lift in the down direction, press the bottom floor button. To move the lift in the up direction, press the upper floor button. As long as the floor button is held, the car will move slowly at the levelling speed. It is imperative that the door open and floor call buttons are held until the floor and car sills are levelled. The buttons can be released when the levels are equal. Our code will set this position as the new stopping distance. This procedure should be applied from top to bottom and from bottom to top for all floors. Once all the fine tunings are completed, press the Enter button on RM to disable the fine tune mode. The floor fine tuning on RM is made as follows. After RM is connected to the car panel, Select the Tools button to enter the menu. Select the Level Fine Tune screen icon on the menu and press the Enter button. There will be two options. Select the Fine Tuning using RM parameter and press the Enter button. The call is given to the relevant floor inside the car. When the lift reaches the floor, the leveling between the car sill and the floor sill is made as follows. The difference between the car sill and the floor sill is measured by means of a tape measure. If the car sill level is above the floor sill level, the measured value is reduced in centimetres for the respective floor via RM. If the car sill level is below the floor sill level, the measured value is increased in centimetres for the respective floor via RM. The car will not move during this procedure. The settings made will be effective upon the arrival to the relevant floor next time. This fine tuning should be made from top to bottom and from bottom to top for all floors. Following all setting adjustments, you must save the changes by pressing the ESC button. The CPC switch settings and floor fine tuning procedures are executed in this way. See you in our next Arkel training video. Goodbye!